Hello. I'd like to show you a really interesting little uh, plug-in for making curved staircases. You can use SketchUp 7, 8, or 2013. Shouldn't make any difference. So go to the Draw menu, hit Curve Stair. Now you can set up many different uh, values here to build different curved stairs of different radiuses, open riser, closed riser, housed or sawtooth stringers. So let's build a 180 degree stair. And we're going to set the risers to zero, meaning open riser. We're going to set the radius to 600 millimeters and a house stringer. A width of a thousand is fine. Uh, th thickness is 60, good. 285, let's put that in here. And now I think we're good to go. Uh, no, let's make the treads three layers of three quarter inch material. So two and a quarter inches, which is 57 millimeters. Now build them. There we go. Stair is built. Now, how do we get a handrail? Well, it turns out that all you need to do is call up the stair plug-in again. And in this case, what we're going to do is adjust it. So we're going to want a handrail, uh, let's say, 80 millimeters by 80 millimeters. So we want 80 by 80 uh, for both two handrails here. Uh, same degrees, change the tread thickness now to zero and it won't draw treads and it won't draw the top riser. Instead it'll draw handrails and because the tread thickness is set to zero it'll raise the handrails up higher. Um, okay now we want to make a slight adjustment to the radius. Um, we're going to go 590 because we've made the uh, handrail thicker than the stringer and we're going to go to 1020 for width and that should take con to consideration the difference in thickness. Press OK and here's your handrails. Center it, turn it around, spin it around and you have a handrail and you've got a circular staircase. This will draw uh, clockwise, counterclockwise. Um, it's got a number of options here. So clockwise or anti-clockwise, of course we can turn this and say we don't want a, um, a stringer built. This is good for, uh, say, spiral staircases where uh, you have no inside stringer and you have no outside stringer and you have only spindles you can turn those off. Um, the other thing that's interesting about this is um, you can adjust your nosings, uh, tread thicknesses, etc. as well as additional properties for how much the uh, system dados risers, boards into treads or um, treads into stringers uh, and, and this is done by an, uh, an auxiliary file, uh, a stair default file. So we'll just uh, load that up for the moment. Here's a bunch of defaults so you can adjust your defaults for whether you're in metric or whether you're in imperial, doesn't matter, including um, how many sections you want the stringer to for each tread to be broken into, um, the dado depths, all of this sort of thing. Well, thank you for uh, watching this. Uh, let's uh, delete this stair and build a different one just for fun. Let's go build a counterclock or a clockwise one. And we're going to build sawtooth, thousands fine, um, 20, um, 1800 millimeters, 90 degree, 
sawtooth housed uh, 60, uh, 300, 60, 400. Riser, yeah, sure, 12.7. Tread thickness of 38 millimeters. OK. There's your stair. So it's got a housed outside stringer to go up against a wall and a uh, sawtooth one for spindles. So now we want to draw the one handrail. So we're going to again pick the plug in and we're going to say we want a housed on the inside and uh, let's say we want to bring it in slightly smaller so uh, let's go 980 uh, thickness again let's go 80 and 80 uh, none for the outside zero here zero here okay there's your handrail thank you very much